manager application which is using some of the more advanced jQuery features multi tabs with grids editable grids and so right now I'm just starting out with something simple okay but this will be used by everything every pager in the application okay so as you can see one of the meth one of the parameters here is the actual model class of the model that we're going to be paging okay so okay we have our DAOs okay now we're going to go into our managers so our managers are basically the the front part of the DAO so this is what we're going to we can expose to our web services if we like just by coding this annotation I mentioned earlier that AppFuse comes pre-wired in with CXF which is you know old XFire and I've, I've used XFire a lot because it's always been provided with AppFuse and um, now that it's CXF but it works the same way and that AppFuse just has the annotation support ready to go and you just put in the web service annotation and voila these methods are now web services which is kinda cool so and here's the implementation of our um, manager so down here the package scheme for that would be the service which is our interface and then our service implementation of course which is implementing that and you see what we're doing here is we're defining our web service and our endpoint interface and then once we actually get into firing up that app views we can go to slash services and then see these web services are available there the other thing we're doing here is we're making a um, we're injecting this DAO into this manager via spring okay and we're going to see that here in a second so this is basically allowing us to wire up our managers and make them available via spring so um, all right let's just take a look so what we're doing here now is our person DAO we're wiring our person DAO up to our person DAO hibernate and we're passing in our session factory okay so this is just a bean our person DAO and then what we do is is we then pass the person DAO bean into our person manager which is here and then we set up firstly set up our base class and we pass in the DAO to the base class which is what we're dealing with here which eventually goes down to the generic um, hibernate and then we're setting up our superclass um, model here and now we can actually make use of the methods in our DAO to call into get person criteria and find by email and of course all of the methods that we inherited are already built in okay so now this is also going to get injected into our action class okay so when we go to look at our action we see that we have our person manager here right and we have our setters for our person manager and, and spring will automatically inject these when our action class fires up okay the other thing I need to mention too is we have a pager factory all right and we'll talk about that in the next video that's starting to get a little hairy but basically what it does is AppFuse comes with out of the box you can also you can generate cruds if you watch the crud video for AppFuse you can see that AppFuse can generate code for cruds so, I mean it, you know via Maven plugin and what you'll get is all of this code we just looked at basically pre-built for you and you'll just copy and paste it into here or if you're using it Mavenized it's it's already done for you you just build it and you're ready to go so um, the thing is, is that AppFuse comes with display tag now display tag out of the box with AppFuse will not do um, sorting and paging very well um, I think the way it works out of the box is if you have a million records you're passing a million records back to the JSP and you're paging them in memory which is not a really good idea so a while back someone contributed a pager factory for display tag but it was kind of wired up for display tag so you couldn't really extend it much to um, plug in other pagers so what I've done is I've completely refactored that into this pagers package and it supports display tag and the jQuery pager and it has interfaces to handle different things like for example the display tag pager doesn't support searching at least not at the time it might now I haven't used it in so long I don't remember but um, you can so what I did was I kept this in place so it still does the paging and the sorting externally 
but it also has these interfaces that allow you to plug in searcher and searcher parameters. And basically what these things do, what this factory does is based on um, how you implement these um, types here, it pulls in different request parameters and builds a pager based on those request parameters. Okay, so if you if you're when you call the factory, you can have it build a jQuery type, and based on the type, it knows what all the parameter names are and gets the right values out of the request and builds this object based on those request parameters. And it can also do it based on whether or not your pager is searchable, and if it is, it'll pick those extra search values up out of there. We'll delve into this a little deeper in, as the videos move on. So right now what we've done here is we've taken the person demo from AppFuse and we've jQueryized it. Okay, So this is how our DAO pieces are wired together and how the action class and the spring um, configuration is all you know wired up and how it's you know getting its data from the database using these DAO managers. Okay, the next thing we're going to see is how um, struts and the pagers are wired up. So if we look at our struts config and we go down to where our pagers is set up. Okay, so and we can take a look at our actual pages. There's going to be two pages. There's going to be the form and the list. Okay. Okay. So if we go back to our struts config. Okay. Okay, here's our struts config. All right, we'll get that set up for our person list. And of course, we have our pick list or uh, we don't want that. We want our person list and we want our person form. Let's get that. And we're also going to need um, our action class. So let's go back and get our person action. Okay, and I'm going to stop this video here and then pick up from here in the next one.